Good morning, friends. Happy Tuesday. Today is March 17th. It's St. Patrick's Day, and we are quarantining. Um, we have Cash at home today. His daycare is still open, but he's actually sick. He's got like a wet cough and a runny nose. It's actually like the third day of him being sick, so this is kind of like the last day. Um, he's not, his nose isn't running anymore. He just has kind of a wet cough. So I have kept him home these last two days. Um, but I am self quarantining. So I went to the grocery store already. I got everything we need. We have plenty of toilet paper. Um, no, I haven't purchased any more since the big toilet paper rush, but we had plenty before. So, um, we're not in any kind of need. You get down, please. So right now it is about... Yeah, that hurts because you weren't supposed to be up there. Hold on. So anyway, it is almost 10 o'clock. We're watching Frozen 2. We just spent about 30 minutes outside playing with bubbles that I purchased from Sprouts. Um, and that seemed to be very entertaining for quite a while. I will probably go back to it later. But I wanted to get myself sort of ready and like kind of presentable for the day. Um, and then I'm just gonna kind of like make this a day in the life vlog for you guys since we're home and we're not really We're not really doing a whole lot luckily. I only have one toddler at home I know that some of you that are home have many more kids um, The only problem with having just one toddler at home is that there's no one to play with him so I do have a couple of friends who have younger children, um, a kindergartner and a first grader um, who are at home and I might have them over. Um, I know we're not supposed to really have play dates but our husbands work together. Well, not her husband, her boyfriend. Um, they work together and so they're together anyway and so we're both teachers and we both have our kids at home. So we're probably only going to hang out with them. Um, so social distancing still, but really being selective about who we hang out with. Um, and I'm also going to help her, um, if she does have to go to work, I might help her out with her kiddos, just keeping them here and continuing their learning while they're away from school. So, ooh, great. I just watched Jack eat poop. Jack, gross. Anyway, I'm going to get myself ready. And I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do this because my husband is sleeping in the next room. He didn't get home till like 4.30 in the morning. So anyway, I'm going to show you guys how I get ready with two products. First thing I'm going to use is my Grace and Stella Spray All Day Rose Spray. This came in, I think it was the summer Fab Fit Fun Box. I don't even remember, maybe fall. Um, but anyway, I've just barely gotten to here because I, I use this all the time, like maybe once a day. Um, but here's what I use it for. So I'm gonna just give myself a spray, get my face kind of like wet, give it the moisture it needs. And then I'm gonna use my favorite BB powder with just a dense brush. And you're gonna watch and see how everything kind of disappears. This virus nonsense has got me like completely breaking out. My whole chin is spotted. I'm going to have to order more of this before the end of the week because I am getting close to being out. And now I am somewhat ready, more presentable for the day. This is bad lighting. <laughs> Let's find some different lighting. There we go. Now you can kind of tell everything is kind of blurred. It's a little bit less red. So I love that stuff. Anyway, now I'm going to go ahead and get dressed. I need to go see if I have any green in my wardrobe. 
Also, my neighborhood's doing this really cute thing where we are supposed to put some type of shamrock in our windows and then go out for an evening stroll and count how many shamrocks we find in the windows and like kind of keep track, make it like a scavenger hunt. So I'm gonna try to figure out how I'm gonna do that. I think I might have some green paper. So maybe I'll cut one out on my Cricut. Um, either that or I'm just gonna find some green um, crayon because I know I have that somewhere and just draw one and then put it in the window. I think that's really cute. So. Um, kind of a way to like social distance, but still have fun. All right guys, so I managed to find this green shirt in my closet. I think I got rid of my little like St. Patrick's Day shirt. Um, but anyway, this is what it's gonna be. Even though I'm not going anywhere, it's still kind of fun to like participate in the holiday. Um, so yeah, I'm just wearing this green shirt. Um, so I just saw, you guys are going to totally laugh at me, I'm such a big nerd, but I just saw that they have put all of the Sims packs on like 50% off. So I only have like three or four left to buy. I know, I'm a total nerd. It's an investment, okay? It's like the only video game that I'll even play. So I have like four more packs to buy and then I have every single pack. Um, now this is probably a waste of money, but I have all the groceries I need. I'm not going anywhere for the next like two weeks and I get paid next week. So I'm just gonna get the last couple ones that I need since they're 50% off and then I'm completely full of all the Sims packs. Um, I have been playing them when cash naps if I'm like caught up on chores, um, which you can only clean your house so many times. Um, my house definitely needs to be picked up a little bit, but once I pick up, I'm definitely gonna play today. So I think I'm gonna see how cheap they are and just get them since they're on sale. I play a Lego. Are you playing a game? Yeah. Yeah, that looks like a fun game. Okay, so I'm extremely sad to see that they're only on sale if you use a PC. So um, the game packs are still 20 bucks. So I think I might get two of them and call it a day. So I'm getting um, the Sims 4 Dine Out, and I think, I think I'm going to get, um, let's see. What else do I want? I don't know if I care that much about the spooky stuff pack. That's like all the costumes and stuff. This is what's happening in quarantine, okay. Are you winning? All right, it's official. I have purchased all of them. Let me see what you're doing. What are you playing now? Show me. How do you play? Show, play for me. Show me how you play. No, show mom play. Play for mommy. Ooh, you want help? Yeah. Okay, ready? Do the other side. Stars! Mm hmm that one goes there. Good job. Um, and there. Look at you. All of the Sims game packs are now mine, except for vampires, and I probably will never get that one. So, that's exciting. Ugh. Okay. That's enough of that. I'm gonna clean my kitchen, make my breakfast, and then we'll go outside and play. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So high 
sky Trust in our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down <laughs> so a couple little spots I have left in the house to clean um, this TV box is just going to be there it's we're trying to find a place to take it um, it's just really big so I need to clean off the kitchen table and then I'll kind of pick up the living room um, but most of what's in here is like stuff cash is playing with so I don't really feel like I need to completely pick it up um, and then we're gonna go play in the playroom because this guy is ready to play. Are you ready to go play? So I just got done eating lunch and giving Cash some lunch. And while I was eating, the doorbell rang. And I got all of these cute swimsuits from Cup She. You guys, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I love Cup She swimsuits. Um, I am partnering with them for today's video, but I am going to be offering you guys a coupon code for the Cup She website to get yourselves some cute swimsuits. Even though we're all not going to be really traveling <laughs> for a while. You know, you might want a cute swimsuit to wear in your backyard to play in the sprinklers. Who knows? Um, but I'm going to show you guys the ones that I got and then I'm going to do a try on. Now, I'm being very vulnerable with this try on because I am going to let everybody see what they look like on. So let's just look at the styles first and then we will try them on. Okay, so the first one that I got is this really super cute white and orange bikini type. Um, high-waisted bikini type um, and I got these in a size large just because I didn't want them to be too tight but I love their high-waisted um, bottoms that they offer super cute and then this top I thought was really sweet because it has this like gathering slash tied um, effect there on the top and I love that look so uh, that's the first one that I got and again I got this in a large and then this next one is this really cute, um, I forget what this style is called, but it's like, you guys can see it's super gathered. Um, and this is a high-waisted bikini, so this one's more like um, high-on-the-hip type. Um, but I just loved the combination. And one thing that I love about cup she swimsuits is that if you buy a couple of swimsuits, you can like trade out the tops and bottoms. So like if I wanted to use 
this top with that bottom that is super cute a lot of them come with like a really fun top and like a basic bottom so that you can mix and match and it looks like this so I love the contrast of the floral and the basic print on the bottom. I think that those are really cute and it also has a cute little cutout in the belly area. Well, not even the belly, but like the upper belly abdomen spot. So it looks like that and then the back is super cute. And again, I got this in a large. I have a really long torso, so I have to get size large for one pieces especially because they will just not fit right if I don't. So that's the third. And then the last style that I got was another one piece. I thought this one was so cute because it kind of looks like a two piece, but it's kind of not. <laughs> um, but I like the contrast and I love the like tied effect on the top. And then it's just a basic um, one piece. So the back looks like this, just basic. Um, and yeah, I think these are really cute. So I'm gonna have all of these styles linked down in the description of this video for you guys. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and don't forget to go to the link. There will be, um, you guys will be able to get 10% off if you spend $70 or more. I know that's not a huge discount or coupon, but it is all that I could squeeze out of them. So I'm thankful they gave me something for you guys. And I hope that you can enjoy getting something cute for the summer slash spring. Um, even though we're all social distancing, that doesn't mean that we can't go outside and find, you know, lakes and rivers and, you know, if you have a community pool, if, as long as you're outside and you're distancing from other people, um, as long as you're being safe, then these swimsuits will be super awesome for you. All right, so that was everything that I got from Cupshe. I'm super happy with those. Um, and if you guys are interested, again, the links will be down below. What are you guys doing now? wanted to watch trucks. Looks like oh. didn't want to let me play with him. You didn't want to play with daddy? Well, he got mad at me. He Do you want me to get all the Legos out? Hey guys, so it is now about 1.45. Cash and I are sitting on the couch. We are um, doing what I call quiet time. It's where we just sit on the couch. We watch an episode of his little truck show on Amazon Prime. And then once the episode is over, we go in his room, we read a book, and then he takes a nap. And if I lay him down at two, he should sleep until about five, which is amazing. That's three hours for me to chill out, get any work done that I need. Today, I think I'm just gonna play Sims because the house is clean, the laundry's done, or is washing, and I am just gonna relax. Um, I am gonna be going into work tomorrow to prep some packets for my kiddos. So, um, I'll probably spend some time on the computer just, um, sending out some Google things for them to those who have access to it. Um, but that's not going to be done until tomorrow, so I'm just going to use today to relax and, um, play Sims. So, then we'll go take a nap, okay? Say yes, Mama. Yes, Mama. Thank you. Hey you guys, so it is now 6.18 p.m. A lot of time has passed since I saw you last, but I wanted to show you what Cash and I are up to. Um, so I have my little workstation set up here at my school computer. I really need to go and get my computer charger, but I'm waiting for the okay from my principal. Luckily, I can pretty much do anything from my, my at-home computer, but I'm just going to use this for now because I'm going to try to get some student um, Google passwords and things um, sent to them. But anyway, what I'm doing right now is I'm listening to a live stream from my school district's um, board meeting, and then I am talking to kiddos on Class Dojo. So I posted a picture of Cash and I, and I had the kids post pictures from today. So this is our picture. And I just put on there for them to post a picture of them today and then tell me what they did. So I'm just trying to check in with each kiddo. And if you are a kiddo who's watching me right now, just know that I miss you guys. I'm thinking about you every single minute. Um, when I first got the first picture today, I kind of got teary-eyed because I really do miss you guys. And I'm going to do everything I can to send you support. And for now, let's just focus on checking in to see how we're doing and we'll focus on learning later. So, um, that's what I'm up to and I'm going to start sending home um, screenshots of passwords for the school emails and passwords so that they can access all of the tools that we use through like our Clever website. Everything is kind of linked to their school Google account so that's really great. So I'm gonna sit here and do that 
Cash is eating dinner. It's actually warm in here. It's like 76 in the house. So I'm gonna open up the back door and get some fresh air up in here before it gets too dark outside. Uh, we went for a walk to the park and that was fun. We played at the park for a little bit and now we are just, Cash is eating dinner. I'm not really hungry right now. So I'm just sitting here talking to my kids and that's all that's going on as of right now. You pooped? So it is currently eight o'clock in the evening and normally I have Cash bathed and ready for bed by now, but he's playing with Legos and I am perplexed because his daycare is still open. And from everything that I've been seeing, reading, hearing, the coronavirus is not affecting little children. Um, and so I'm trying to decide. Well, you put it in his mouth. I'm trying to decide whether or not to send him to preschool. And part of me is thinking, yes, you should send him because when he goes to preschool, he has so much fun. He gets to play with other kids. He gets to interact in an educational setting. Um, and he is very safe there. Um, they're very strict on letting kids in who are sick. And so part of me is like, maybe I should send him so that he can have a sense of normalcy um, in this crazy time. And the other part of me is like, do I send him? And then I have to worry about going in to pick him up and then I'm interacting with other people. I'm home, so I don't need to send him to daycare or preschool. But I'm also paying for it and I'm going to have to continue paying for it whether or not he goes. So I'm really perplexed with this question. Um, so anyway, I don't know. I think I'm gonna send him tomorrow and see how I feel about it. He um, was sick for a couple of days, so I did keep him home today and yesterday um, because he had a wet cough and pretty runny nose, but his symptoms have cleared up, so I'm thinking I'm gonna try sending him tomorrow, and if I have some like really bad feelings about it once I drop him off, then I'll just go pick him up. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but um, I'm really torn with this decision. I guess if the preschool was closed and I couldn't send him, then I would be perfectly fine with that and I would create some sort of like schedule to keep him like entertained and like moving through like he normally does, but I haven't done that yet. So I'm gonna just feel it out tomorrow, see how I feel and um, go from there. So we'll just give it a, a good hard try tomorrow and then I'll collect my thoughts on the whole topic. Um, but yeah. I will probably end this vlog here. If you're not already, make sure that you are following me on Instagram as I will be doing more updates there. Um, oh, and I might pick up the camera and vlog tomorrow, but I also need to sit and edit this one. So I will probably see you guys soon. That is not a toy. And we're gonna go. <laughs> All right, bye guys.